Hi everyone, right, it's time to add a few more miles onto the challenge. That's me done about a marathon and a half in less than a week. So I'm going to try this afternoon and see if we can get through about 13, it's the equivalent of two marathons, and then we'll, we'll start trying knocking out the longer runs as and when I have a little bit more time. So let's uh, let's crack on. Right, that's us about 12 miles in. Just about a mile to go, just taking over today. Again, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's always like this in the Manus. Look at the weather. But sadly no, even though we're still in April. We're going to go for 13 miles today, see how that takes us and yeah, mile go. Get in there. You always feel good at the end. Well, this is just coming up to the end of 13 or 13.1 miles. That's us just about there. Just kept it ticking over today. The I'm going backwards now. Went to probably going backwards for years to be honest. The yeah, we'll just get the, that's 13 miles, so we'll just see it through to the end. Oh, we'll just see it through to the end. I'm always getting that wrong, holding it the wrong way. That's us just about there. Just about at the 13.1 miles. Just taking over for today. We'll just keep it going. Keep it going. We'll keep it going to the end. Slightly faster than the type of marathon pace. Not much faster, to be fair. But again, let's see. Just about there. Just about there. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, oh, right. Nearly there. Come on, nearly there, nearly there. Come on, come on. Point three to go. Come on, watch, hurry up. Just take it through the end, come on. And I caught the watch, let's stop it there. That's us, 13.1 miles, get in there. Well, that's me for today, today's Tuesday. That's 13 miles as I said there. So the equivalent of two marathons, one marathon, two half marathons since last week. So I'm actually quite pleased with that to be honest. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. The sore legs is a bit of a challenge afterwards, but yeah. That takes us up to two, and the plan next time is to try uh, 26. So we'll recover and eat right and do the good stuff before that. So, oh, again, like last time, all the details of today's run. I can't believe the heat, I've got sunburn. All the details of today's run, update, progress, etc., should be there or somewhere uh, showing on this. So, Let's keep it going. Get in there. Till next time. More everyone, here we are then. One week, eight days into the challenge. Amazing the difference a week makes. They started the first run, sunburn, 20 degrees, dehydrated. Today, T-shirt, jumper, and gloves. I think I prefer it like this today, to be honest. So, let's go again. We're gonna try a bit of a rural route today. I say, wherever I run, there will be no one about, and I will be making sure that I'm just by myself, as you can see. So, I'm gonna start with a little walk, to be honest, to start with, because I'm going right up that hill behind me there. We'll go up together and I kind of just don't want to kind of start with that and I think I I think I deserve to start on the flat rather than struggle to start with so let's get it going right that's me walk that one big hill and what do I get when I get to the next bit another huge hill so will I will I start will I start 
a big hill. You know what? I'm just gonna get going. Okay, let's get this started. Sounds of this hill. That. Right, let's start this here, let's get going. That is steep. Note to self, see when you tell yourself that you're gonna do a flat run. Do a flat run. <laughs> lots of lots of undulating up and down hills here. I'm just going downhill right now. Great. But I know what that means. Yes, here we come, here we go. Uphill to fall. Right, that's me come through the first bit of woods. Again, I can see a massive hill. This is good. I've got to do my route planning a bit better, I think. There. Yeah, it'll flatten out soon, I hope. There. Yeah. Oh, it's a steep hill coming up. It'll flatten out soon. Okay, that's me about three miles in, completely contradicting everything I said in my route planner. Three miles of hills, up and down. I think I'm just about coming to a plateau now, hopefully not with me, but I'm seeing a flat bit of road and it's hopefully, as I thought, flat from there. The route I'll explain when I get my breath back. <laughs> okay, I think we're on a bit of flat now. Excellent. So, now that we're over that, the plan is you, I'm running from just beside, as you can see there, Cologne Battlefield, which is just to my left. I am going to run east. I'm going to run towards the back road to a little place called Nown. Back road, very rural. Halfway there, halfway back, stop here. Somehow make it home. Let's get it going. All these wee lambs have got the right idea. Look at them. Well, as much as I like visiting castles, called the castle, we love the castle. I'm going to give it a miss today. We'll carry on with our run. Straight down there. On the way to now. Let's go. Come up to about 11 or 12 miles now. I think there's nothing worse than when you get to a corner and you look right and it's majorly uphill. Don't know if it shows on the phone on the camera, but that is a hill. What are you staring at me for? Never seen a slow runner before? Oh, this hill. <laughs> Says it all. Halfway. I'm outside Nairn County Football Club. They usually only takes me about 10 15 minutes to drive here. Uh, right, that's me about halfway. Time to head back. What a view! Look at that. Stunning. Mm. 
Hi everyone. Well, I must admit, I'm pleased to say that's just done. That's 26.2 miles done. I'm not going to say that I'm disappointed about it. that. My legs got quite edgy near near the end. It's funny how the first 13 to 15 time flies by, you're enjoying the scenery. It feels easy, and then something just sort of goes and your feet sort of, well, my feet feel like cement blocks. So that's even after double polish this morning. But it's there and I'm hoping it's probably cause three in a week. Something not gonna be repeating that for the rest of the challenge anyway. So I've just checked my watch there and it tells me that I need 42 hours of recovery time. So that is what I'm planning to take. Uh, Saturday, no football of course. Anyway, I'm pleased to say that that's all done. All the usual stats, updates should appear here with progress on how everything's going. Thanks for everyone's support.